So what's up, man? Perfect. How's it going? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. How have you guys been? I'm all good. All good. Um, so I had a little little tournament lately. Had a lot of fun. Hey, you told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which one is for government? Oh, yeah. So it's like the only tournament works now in uh, in Israel. It's um, it's uh, the tournament in um, in Kiryat Ono. Um, uh, it's, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like till 2000 uh elo i uh i won five out of six right now right. no wait no I'm, yeah four out of six yeah so it was the it's not, it, was, it was not about the bad tournament i i lost like once to uh 1900 and once to like okay. a 1600 player it was both in a row and i was kind of tired at both of them uh, but now I had a game, and that was actually, I feel like it was a, a milestone game for me. Because I, f I really? played like a six, uh, like, uh, against a 1600, yeah. and I had my first ever game, a classical game, an hour and a half game, that I, I felt like it was easy. <laughs> like, it, it, yeah, like, it, 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 it was it really good, right? easy to play. Yeah, it feels really amazing. <laughs> that feels really amazing. Um, yeah. Like the feeling that you just just outplayed him naturally or something, right? I mean, uh, it feels good. Yeah, that's amazing. That is really amazing. Um, and it, you I'm know, it, it, it was also like in the clock because I had at end of the yeah. game, I had an hour and ten minutes, and he had wow. less than twenty. So. Uh, yeah, so it was like an effortless win. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was an effortless win. Um, I, I wanted maybe if we can analyze the game. Uh, see yeah, together and, yeah, and uh, sounds good. So, um, um, so do you wanna? Um, oh yeah. Wanna How? Put it in our study? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to our study. So send me. Oh, so send me. Send me. You wanna uh, send me the link again? Yeah. Let's, yeah. See if you can go to this, uh, to this thing. So. All right. Tell me one. Where, where did you send me? Yeah, I sent you on Zoom. Oh, in Zoom. Yeah, on the on the chat. Or oh, the oh I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, sure, sure. Tell me if you can access it because uh, we used to use it. So. Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah, and I'll, I'll just, uh, great. I'll just uh, do one thing. I'll put ourselves here. Right. One second. So I just want to see if I can just put it on the on the screen as well. Yeah, great. Great, great, great. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll show the game one second. I'll only do that and this, so everybody can see it. Okay, so. Okay, so I was white. So the game went like this: d4, d5, um, bishop f4. I'm playing the London. That's my. Yeah, let, let's let's promote. Let's put it on the main line. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um. So d4, bishop f4. It went. There's knight of six. Um. One second, knight f6, um, yeah. e3, and bishop f5. Okay? Yeah. So here I have a little line that I like to play. And a lot of time it works. Sometimes it doesn't work exactly. And this time it did. So it was nice. Knight f3. Um, okay. And... Can you go like a, okay, with some quick c4 thing here? Like, um, I, I'm just wondering because... Yeah. One thing that always catches my eye... When they play an early bishop f5, mm -hmm. I'm trying to ask myself whether I can put like an immediate pressure on the pawn on b7, which is now not defended. So one of the things that comes to mind, even though in the London system, normally you want to put your pawn on c3 and go for this type of very solid setup, right? Mm -hmm. If they go with an early bishop f5, maybe it makes sense to look at c4. And the idea is to go queen b3. I don't know, maybe you did something similar in the game, but I, I'm just wondering if you, could, if you could do it right now, because 
the earlier he, he plays queen b3, the more difficult it becomes for him to defend it. So what, what yeah. does he do right here, for example? Um, great. So C, yeah, C4 is one of the, one idea I also have, indeed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I, I can play it, and it's it's quite good. Um, yeah. But yeah, here, something specific, like a specific idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here I have a different idea. I have a little, little. I don't want to say. I don't know if it's a trap, but it's a bit of a different okay. idea. But yeah, I, I'm, I am playing that a lot of times. C4. C4 is a, is a, is yeah. a. C4, and I, I want to tell like an example, rely on what like could happen. Yeah. Um. So I, I think uh, the 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 correct response for black should be. E6, because if he plays e6, then yeah. queen b3 is really annoying because you don't have a really like an active move that can defend uh, can defend the pawn b7, and then you might be forced to play uh, an unfortunate move like queen to c8. So let's say black does the correct move e6, queen b3, and now the reason why they prefer to start with c6 is to have this move queen b3, right? Uh, but here, this was my point, yeah, was it to play c5, force him to trade, and now I try to play for this idea to go b4 and b5, I guess, uh, I guess uh, you might have uh, come across this type of idea. Yeah, and again b4, b5 after that. Uh, yeah, if possible, and there is one principle that I kind of uh, tried to um, implement. In such, a, in such a structure is that if, if black is in time to play a6 knight d7 rook c8 then he is, is fine but if it but if white manages to push uh, b5 on top like before black manages to make all those moves then black has some uh, trouble all right so uh, one question asaf uh, something technical uh, yeah. can you is your mic close to you um Actually, I'm using just the computer's mic, but I can plug. Uh, uh, I can plug my other mic. I think. Um, if you can, it'll be good because I think that 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 now also in the chat they say that it's, you seem far off and it happened in the recording as well. That I uh, I'll okay. listen. So if if you can in a sec, okay. it will be really nice. Okay, fair enough. I just uh, I'll just try to put it on. Also, I'll say, hey, ask, what's up, man? How's it going, ask? And Ellie Rubes just joining in. What's up, Ellie? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll fix some things myself now if I have the chance. So, guys, one second as we prepare some stuff. Um, one second, I'll be going. I just want to make it as, as clean as possible um, for us there. So one second. All right. So guys. Also guys, uh, something very important. If you have any questions you want to ask us off, any um, maybe something about an, an opening or something like that, uh, this is the time to send me if you would like, so we can uh, maybe maybe do it on stream. Um, so if you have anything, that is the time to send it up. All right. Okay, I found it. Should be much better. One second. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No problem. I brought uh, the heavy up. Oh, uh, yeah. The YouTubers type of microphone. That that is that sounds already br brilliant. Sounds already amazing. Is it, is it, is it better now? Yeah. Oh, so much better. So much better. Okay. So so much better. I'll, I'll just automatically plug I, it in. Next I time even I even need to take you like uh, like <laughs> a bit less, like to, to to tune you down a little bit. <laughs> okay, oh, great. Okay. That's good. That's uh, so good. I'm just that's good. Okay. All right. Okay, so, cool. let's, so let's let's get uh, back. So what we, uh, I was trying to say, yeah, is that it's. It's very important for black to stop white from going b4, b5. Mm -hmm. So um, he must try to strive to get his queen side pieces out of the way in order for this b5 movement to be at him, right? Yeah. And then, then he might be okay. So that's an idea to go for a quick um, queen b3 thing. I think that's a theme in the London sometimes, to, uh, especially when they go with an early bishop f5 like they do sometimes. 
uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, that, that, that's an idea yeah. I also have, and I play it sometimes. Um, so okay. actually, uh, um, what's his name? Well, uh, uh, Shai taught me a really sneaky idea, a sideline here that I really like, okay. and it involves yeah, a move I also really uh, respect. So here I played okay. knight, of, knight, knight of three. This is like a line I already obviously know. He's going e6, right. and I go quickly knight e5. Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go for a quick G4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Wow, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I think it mainly works if if black uh, is kind of like I think it's it's easy to think that the move ninety five is uh, is some kind of positional move just to uh, you know to put the knight not in the center. There's no there's no like the, like it's it's the beginning. What can he do? You know, some some kind of things exactly. like that. It's yeah. difficult to realize it's actually a pretty serious threat to go g4, bishop g6, and h4. And I think that's, like, positionally a very serious threat. Yes, yes, like, uh, e exactly. I, 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 could, I, could, I could imagine lots of, like, uh, people going wrong in this position. So, yeah, so that, that, that happened it's here. It's a good resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love it. I love the idea. Happens to me a lot that I managed to, to take really, to bring yeah. really good positions in, in with it. So... Yeah, I think bishop d6. The uh, yeah, bishop d6 is the right idea. The only move. Yeah. Then so g4, bishop takes d5. Exactly, exactly. So is knight d7 with the same idea wrong? Yeah, because after I go g4, it takes. I take the bishop. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this, but so and okay, black can just let's say go back. Yeah, but then I but take probably it. Probably white is happy. Take on e6. Yeah, exactly. And now you you got the two bishops. Yeah. Maybe exactly. You, you can try to target the pawn on e6. Maybe move like bishop h3 can be annoying. Yeah, I have, I have, I, it's very dynamic, and I, ha I have, I have. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's really fun to play. I think, especially in the classical yeah, game. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, and you have the open g file. You might even consider castling long eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's really a nice like resource. It. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a nice resource. I really enjoy that. Um. So yeah. happy. You know, in which opening this type of idea is is like super popular in the in the Karakan. Really? They, because in the Karakan, very often they go with the early bishop f5. Yeah. Like one, I, I, there are at least three different positions where this type of idea works. I think the most popular one in the Karakan, for example. For, so there, are, so either something like e5, bishop f5, and, and then some people go h4 just with the idea to uh, g4 to go g4 h5 if black is not careful. Mm -hmm. But the the the, the, the um, the idea which I even I like even more is this this is a, this is called the two knights defense against the Karo Khan. Okay. And now one of the ideas that if black plays this kind of in the same way like they do against the main line, bishop f5, knight g3, bishop g6. Actually this is pretty bad for black because now white can play h4, h6, and thanks to this well played knight on f3 you can go knight e5 and exploit the fact that the bishop is under attack and um and after bishop h7, there is already some kind of a direct attack against the black king, something like queen h5, bishop Ooh. c4. Uh, yeah. Wait, queen, queen h5, yeah, g6, then what? And I still can play bishop c4 because this is a checkmate. Nice. You, you wouldn't believe the amount of games I won in, in, in blitz games, like when the opponents play e6, I played queen e2, they win something like knight e7. I played knight x f7 and they resigned. Wow! I think nice! Position, they, maybe all the disposition like 10 times at least. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, nice! Wow! Yeah. So I, I used to play against the. I used to play e4. Against the Karakan, I went for the knight f3, bishop e2 ideas. And with uh, okay. a quick c4. Quick exploiting yeah, the center, the king in the center. Uh, you play like a grandmaster. This is the favorite idea of the day by uh, most elite <sighs> players. Yeah. Play like a GM and then, you know, blunder the queen. That, that's the spirit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so I think this is like a theme, right? When you see a bishop on f5, you try to exploit it by, um, by yeah. trying to... A question, in the chat in, a question in the chat in the same direction, only because we're, we're talking about this. Uh, how, uh, yeah, how, wait, one, one second. Uh, how do I, how do I make uh, the normal uh, setup, like the uh, normal chess position in the begin like the beginning? So what, what's the question, sorry? 
sorry. Uh, like, how, how, how do I make it? Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, wait. The, uh, like, how do I... This a, yeah, this is the position. How, how do I, like, start from the beginning? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Ta -da. Oh, how do you I found it. I found it. I yeah, I found it. I found it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a uh, 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 question in the chat. Uh, D4, D5. Knight of three. Uh, knight of six. And uh, C4. And then bishop F5. Is there a similar ideas in this? Can you get a similar idea with that? Uh, or or how? Or the question is how to exploit the bishop f five. So I think th okay in this position bishop f five. I'm not sure. It's is it. Um, I know this line. Maybe maybe uh, in the chat they talked about this line c four and move number two and then bishop f five because I've seen some people play this. So Ellie, tell me what, okay. what, what what is this. So Ellie, send that. Tell me if this is the the, the stuff you, you I want. I think I think this is the line you guys are referring to because in the other one, if it, in the other one. Yeah, no, this is this is a line. As far as I know, the idea. Oh, that's a line. It's very rare, but the idea is supposed to be. I mean, the, the, the at some point, yeah, takes on d5. Then they play a very weird bishop takes d1 just to avoid white from uh, gaining the tempo and then they take with the queen um, and this position is not too bad for black because uh, white cannot exploit the queen on d5 because yeah. there's, no, there's no knight on, that can come to c3 but why? I'm, 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 oh yeah, there's no knight, yeah there's no knight there, there's just no knight <laughs> <laughs> there's just no knight yeah, yeah it's so a good answer, it's a good answer it. Just took it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, so after, but I'm 99% sure that this is the way that they get it. And um, after nice. C4, and, and then uh, one, uh, I, I mean, if the question is how to respond to this line, I'm not an expert, but I think uh, that the way to get like a pretty safe, small advantage, which, and, and in my opinion, when your opponent plays such a, a rare line in the opening mm -hmm. instead of trying to refute it and remember some kind of a forcing line and uh, what I like to do is just to take a very practical idea that I know that I would be okay over the board I wouldn't get into some kind of very deep preparations and play for a small advantage for me it's enough yeah so if you take on d5 and go for this type of uh, lines um, I think Okay, he, he is threatening to take on a2, so uh, they suppose you are supposed to make some move to defend the pawn on a2 or b. I think uh, move like uh, like a3, if I'm not mistaken, and and just develop pieces pretty much. Oh, I, I think okay, you know, yeah, I, I I know what I'm getting wrong. In this position, there is an intermediate move. Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted to say. Queen a4. Now I remember. Nice. Queen a4. That's a very important intermediate move, yes. And now the idea that if black blocks the check, you just now up a pawn. D1, yeah, then he cannot regain the pawn. So what they're supposed to do queen, is to play c6. Whoa. By the way, queen d7 also doesn't help too much. I yeah, exchange. Just exchange and yeah. play rook takes b1. And it's not so easy to, um, to get the pawn back without. Uh, without some damage. So what they usually do is they play c6 and after um, after d takes c6, that's a move we can do. Knight Amazing. With, with a threat of yeah. c7. Yeah, or, or c takes b7. Yeah, both are very strong. Uh, isn't that winnings? I mean, isn't that mate yeah, in, made, in, made in something? No, it's not made in something. No, no, he has 97. Sorry. It's, it's absolutely winning, I agree. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this position, rook takes b1, and now there's like a, the, the, the trap is supposed to be that if black just tries to regain the pawn, you can exchange, what? play e3, and now it's, it might look scary for white that he has this check, but yeah. it turns out that uh, you know there are no queens on the board, so actually if anything, if black is going to get in some troubles because I have this check, Nice. And uh, it's pro this, this is actually very bad for Black because um, he must also you know, lose the right to castle. He's all queen si uh, king size on the move. 
Yeah. White has very the very strong exhibitions. So um, for those of you who, who search for weapons here, I'm, I'm, I, I suggest to look at the screen A4 resource. Nice, nice. I love it. This move, this move is important. That's yeah. A small intermediate. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to the game. Okay. Yeah. So 95. Now, um, can I guess uh, the this. opponent played something like a. Uh, like, like a very standard, like bishop it, e7 or something. He played like. 97. Yeah, 97. That's what most people would do. Yeah, yeah. and I went g4. Whoa, sorry. I just pro no, no, that was me. I tried to promote the line. So yeah. g4. Bishop. He played bishop g6. Yeah, and I went h4. I think, yeah, I think they don't even realize what's going on until you play h4. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what mostly happens. Yeah, no, they they, 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 they also right. think I'm, I want to I wanna win the bishop, yeah? Like, and they don't yeah. see the idea. I, I just want to break their pawn structure. Exactly. The idea is actually very positional. It's just yeah, the idea is very positional. You play h6 or h5, and then you play knight takes g6, completely destroying uh, their kingside uh, structure. And black is nearly losing in this kind of structure. So his position is way too much... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that, that maybe that was why I also had a really, really fun and easy game. That could be. Um, yeah. So y you know, I I just realized. I, I think I think um, I think just recently I also had a game, not not in the London system. I think it was also in the Caracas, where I got this kind of knight take g6 idea, uh, but in a much more um, like unusual way. I had a queen on h4, and when he played knight take uh, when he played bishop g6, I took in g6 and he couldn't take with h4 because of the rook. That's it. Wow, yeah, nice. And, and then he also had to play f take g6. Oh, beautiful. That's that's really fun yeah. <laughs> to play against. It's really fun, right? You, it, like you play, and they don't really realize what's going on until it's on the board. Yeah. And, and I think only when you play h4, they start to realize that something is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So it went h6. So it, right? they must yeah, yeah. H6 it went it went h6. Yeah. I took the bishop. He took with a pawn, and I went to bishop d3. I want to say until here because I knew the position. I have probably had like. Uh, 132 on the clock, like more than even, uh, yeah, because I, I played it almost blitzly because I, I, I knew the position really well. Yeah, I, I mean, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, uh, I'm almost assuming that this position were, or a similar type of position were probably played like maybe hundreds of times in blitz games, like this kind of idea. Like, yeah. if you go into the leeches. Blitz database, you might find some games in this position, maybe. Wow, yeah. Interesting. I think, I think because I'm, I'm seeing so many people, uh, like, uh, falling for this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah wow. So what, did he play True. king of seven? Or? No, he didn't. He played knight e5, which I thought he... Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't work, obviously. I have First thing, I have f3. But I have a better move than f3. I have knight d2, which I played. Yeah. Same idea, just a move, yeah? yeah, obviously if he if, F, if he takes, F3 I have a check he, first. He but yeah, so F3, did he did he want to play G five? Uh, yeah, so I calculated that it doesn't work. It doesn't work G five. It's actually really pretty because I can go. Wait, so H takes right? Yeah, th so then Knight, knight takes, takes, right? And then Bishop G six. Exactly, and uh, so it doesn't work. So I take eventually. No, but there is knight of seven, right? Oh, okay, nice, one. nice. No, no, but let's show the audience what you calculated is that if king is seven, yeah. then bishop takes g five, followed by rook takes rook, you gain material. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's true. So you must play knight of seven, which is like weird. A very sad move to make. Yeah, it's a very sad move. Losing immediately. Yeah. It's like this, this position is just. I think it's just terrible. Positionally, right? You have yeah. bishops, you have the pen, you cannot castle anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, just, just terrible. I mean, without any, maybe even without, maybe that's what really is beautiful about this position. White is just winning completely without any any, any variations, you know, just on the position. Just yeah, I get purely, uh, Just a purely terrible position for black. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. So I really enjoy, p people get really annoyed with the bishop f5, and I'm very happy. Sure I, so the, the thing is this, 
I the only opening I know very deeply, and it's not a, an opening people knows a lot of times is the London system. I know a lot of lines, a lot of sidelines. I know like the yeah. theory. I can write the book on the theory probably on the London system. <laughs> like seriously, maybe I know write, I know a lot of moves. Yeah, how to build a London system like um, like against let's say uh, like a club player. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that that can be a concept. Yeah, uh, that is indeed. Okay, yeah. May, may, maybe maybe some you know some very experienced players they kind of used to the. Those no, of course. And they know how to react. Of course, there 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 are good lines at black. I, I play against the London system. I play a line that's very annoying, and 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 yeah, it, there, there's no way to avoid the London system as black. Like never ever. If white really wants, he can go d4, bishop f4, e3, knight f3, almost. On can I give you? I I can show you a line that's very very annoying to play in black. Very and, annoying. Very annoying. And 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 okay. white doesn't get any idea. Okay, so so d4, uh, let's say knight f6, bishop e6 after e3. You go c5. And the idea is, if yeah. you play the normal move, you get queen b6 quickly. Yeah, this is very theoretical, right? Absolutely. So the uh, idea here is and this. Now they're supposed to sacrifice the pawn, right? But it doesn't work. This time it doesn't work, okay? In other positions, it will work. Why it doesn't work? After knight c3, queen takes, knight here, there is the annoying move, knight d4, knight d5. Yeah, yeah, I think, I'm, I'm sure I've seen this position. Yeah, and here, uh, here uh, B white can claim a draw if they want to. With rook b1 and rook b1. And just repeat, eh? Yeah. Um, I, think, I think I've seen this position, I'm sure I've seen I, I, I think I've seen some games where in this they went all the way to this position, and then black played knight a6 and fell for this idea of rook b1, and then rook back to a1. Yeah. And rook takes a6 and exactly. the white is winning. But knight d5 is very strong. Not only defending c7, also if needed, you can eliminate the bishop on the four. Indeed. I think it's very important. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's actually the, the right line. And after this, um, the idea I think I feel always uh, that makes all the London si players, the L London system players, like not playing their game is to actually try to bring a quick knight e5. If you manage, uh, so one of the ideas, or uh, so one of the ideas also even to go d d uh, d six, yeah. So it doesn't have the ninety five ideas, and then you can go knight d five, and then go f five. When you go f five, the London system player is already out of his his ideas, all of his ideas. Yeah, so I think in general we can say that um, one of the best things that you can do against the London system. Is as early as possible uh, force them out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Right? Force them to play some either some concrete idea like this one, like queen d6, and then they are forced to go concrete because they are not used to the idea of playing very concrete. Have you noticed? In uh, very often, like the London is supposed to be like a system where you can play like like 15 moves in a row without thinking too much. Also, the one, the one of the reasons why it's like this, because yeah. most of the forcing moves in the London system that Black will try will be backfired. That's yeah. one of one of the stuff in the London system that's really great. Yeah. Uh, by the way, is this line also works if White changes move orders? Like, like, if you start with C3, for example? So C3 gets to a different position, but you can still play it. Queen B6, Queen B3, obviously. Yeah, and then we had a similar position to what we've seen earlier, but but only now it is black who is trying to get maybe a c4, yeah. Yeah, but if you go, m m yeah, but here you don't want to go c4, never. Yeah, because there is no bishop on the side. Exactly. So uh, and after queen c uh, c2, you always b always have b3, which will really break. B3. Yeah, always break the yeah, pawn so structure. Yeah, maybe we can show the audience the difference. Yes. So let's say d5. Let's say white makes some developing. Yeah, one of these moves. Yeah. I think, I think true London system player, they always seem to prefer to go 92 first. It's, it's, it's supposed to be more flexible, you know? Yeah, because uh, you, you, again, you don't want to allow 95 and maybe a 5 soon, qu and, like quickly. Yeah, and also, there are very specific cases where you don't play knight f3, but maybe go for some quick f4 or something. So, okay, let's say 92, c4, and now we have seen earlier a position where, where black... Uh, it was white that he already had a bishop on f5, and then there was no queen c2. So white white was forced to exchange queens, but here there is queen c2, 
followed by a quick b3 and black you know uh, black forced to take black is forced uh, to take and yeah and that's yeah. not ideal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's a good point yeah Lana's system uh, is really great I, I have i have a lot of lines in it <laughs> i have a lot of little it's good this, this is your um, this is your home territory this is like it is my home territory it is like your home um how do you say this like home base no home base Home base, yeah, home base. Sure. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like in, uh, in, in, in baseball. And everybody, uh, can I say also one thing? Everybody really, really, really uh, hates London system, and that's uh, that's one of the reasons I love that's it. True. Everybody really, that's no, true. it's a it's a opening for patchers, and I don't know what. No, not nobody in the higher level play it, which is not true as well. But um, you know, so it's it's really fun. <laughs> well, you know, it's fun that you mentioned it because uh, like a couple of weeks ago maybe from now maybe even like a, maybe a couple of months maybe i started seeing uh, one of the biggest london system legends in the world get a yeah i played him you know that you played him in a blitz in, uh, like a, uh, yeah because he starts having his own uh, twitch thing right yeah 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 he has a twitch thing so yeah yeah i think he's live right now by the way i've seen him live could be for like when i was sick when i was uh uh, searching for your stream. Yeah, guys, don't leave me, guys. So, guys, don't leave me. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> yeah. No, no, but uh, what I wanted to say is that he, he is playing. He was playing the London system uh, uh, for like his whole career. He made. I think he made. He, he, he made this opening like he, he pushed it to perfection. You know, because he played it at the highest levels, playing the and uh, developing. Like lots of ideas revolving the different move orders and the different type of structures that White should be aiming at. Yeah. And also, the, um, the chat says correctly, yeah. Magnus plays it and plays it beautiful. Yeah, Magnus. Magnus plays the London system, but it has to be noted that Magnus plays everything. So he is true. very flexible. <laughs> That's so true. He's, he's, he's ready to play any opening that, that he feels. Uh, that would be unpleasant for his opponent. This is one of his great uh, strengths: is to make the position uncomfortable for the opponent. He he knows his opponents very well. He understands the psychology of the game, and very often he would aim to play anything that might be even remote, remote and unpleasant for the opponent. And he is very flexible. He is ready to play any kind of position. Yeah, uh, uh, Asaf, one second. I need one second to go to the bathroom. Okay, so give me one second. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Okay. All right, so I'm back. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. So uh, let's go back to the game, shall we? Yeah. I think we were somewhere around here. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. I think uh, objectively. Yeah. Like, White is probably just winning already. Sorry. One second. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, my camera went out of focus. So I'm one second trying to focus it back. Sometimes it happens when I'm getting off the table, the board. Okay. Sorry.
Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah. and I'm back. Yeah. So. So. Yes, um, uh, okay. So, move number 10, 92. That was, I think, the point where we left the game. I think Black is already very close to being just losing. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, so here he played. F6. Yeah, and F6. And G3. Uh, F3, sorry. F3. Yeah. yeah, now he doesn't have G5. That's the big difference. Exactly. Show this. Now G5 is not even an option because White just takes on G5 and there is no way to recapture because any uh, recapture would lose some material thanks to the pin on the H file. Exactly. So, so Black is forced to make a like a very unfortunate. Uh, yeah. So yeah, of, he, uh, he has knight D knight D uh, knight D6. Yeah. Yeah, and after Bishop takes. Uh, Knight of seven, exactly. And here, uh, now, now here, I, I, I like how I played. I, saw, I showed this game to Shai, and he disagreed with me. I'm interested in what you will say. I just went Queen E2. Okay. Um, I think, first of all, this position, we have to realize something, that the position is so good for White that... There are probably many good ways to play. I mean, I, I might, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm almost thinking that if you put this position maybe to some engine or something, it will show that all of White's first, like, I don't know, 10 first moves are very good. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think in this position there is a specific move which is, like, uh, significantly stronger than others. It, as long as you play some common sense moves, that's that's okay. Queen e2 is a common sense move. You prefer long castles. Also, you threaten queen d5, maybe, right? Yeah, exactly. I yeah, like, yeah. I like queen e2. This is not bad. It cannot be a bad move. Yeah, so yeah, um, queen e2 and also castles. So I, I'm thinking like, I'm a pawn up. Yeah. Let's have some fun. I mean, <laughs> I mean, let, let's finish the development. Yeah. What, what, what did Shai wanted to play here? I'm so curious. here he thought that... so. To play prophylactically, what is the only plan of blacks? To castle queenside. Oh. Nothing more. Okay. Right. Rook c1. Rook c1. Trying to yeah, make. That's a classic shy move. <laughs> really? No, no, he. I know his style. He, like, um, he plays for the little things, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. Like a very delicate player. And uh, he has a good understanding of. of um, of uh, prophylaxis, and that's uh, I I'm definitely uh, can expect such a move from him. Uh, it's funny because I didn't think about rook c1 because um, it's 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 pretty subtle. I was thinking about going c4 immediately. Yeah, so that's another that's Same another idea you thought about. Yes, okay, maybe he said c4 first. Maybe he said c4 first. C4 because not only rook c1 is coming potentially, but also once again those ideas to go. Queen b3 and harass uh, Black's um, queen side, and I think uh, I have some variations to illustrate what I'm talking about. So let's say queen d7, preparing long castles. White plays queen to d3, attacking the pawn. Black goes long castles, according to his plan, and now rook c1. And, uh, and here, White has a pretty, uh, pretty serious attacking chances. The rook might open up at any point. The bishop is already pointing towards c7. The queen on b3 is kind of nicely placed. Um, and But here, I, I feel, I'll tell you yeah. what, I, I thought about this. Yeah? A bit. Because I thought, a bit. why the hell do I need to give him chances? My king is in the center. Why, why, why should I give him any counterplay? I, I, I don't think... Um, but the, the, the question is... is, is the, too passive, yeah. The, the question is, is the it's way of thinking... Active. The w is my way of thinking is not correct. That's the real question, because that that can indicate like other decisions I'll be making in different type of positions. Because I don't want to give, I don't want to give him counterplay. I want to finish my development. I don't have want to have any problems in my positions. Anything he can exploit. Yeah, I I, I I I think I understand what went on in your mind in this position. So from your perspective, I, you were like, okay, I'm a pawn up. My position is very good. Uh, let me play queen e2, castle long, safeguard my king, and I'll kind of take it from there, right? Yeah. And, uh, and maybe and, and, and maybe the reason why uh, Shai and, and myself 
uh, we want maybe slightly more than that is that in this position, the fact that you have a phone up is, is you know, is minor. I mean, it's nice to have a phone up, but actually your position is also just very strong in itself. Your fists are very well placed. Your position is well suited for, a, for an attack, for, for some offensive type of ideas. And uh, maybe queen e2 and long castles is a bit safe, you know, maybe too safe, because your position has much more potential. I get it. Okay? I get what you're and saying. I, and, uh, He's, he told me, he told me I, C4, I C4 is the GM move. That's what he told me. C4 is the high level move. Queen e2 is yeah, okay. Maybe. It's not bad, but... I want to say, though, that I don't think Queen e2 is, is bad at all. I think uh, C4, yeah, maybe slightly more aggressive, slightly more precise. But Queen e2, you know, nobody would... Um, you wouldn't lose a game because of such a move. The... So yeah. It's a normal move. Yeah, of course. Uh, me, myself, I, I wouldn't blame anybody for playing queen two. You know what I mean? You would play c4 here? You would play c4 here? Uh, I think I would. c4, rook c1, queen b3. Yeah. And my, my king, uh, the reason why I'm not too much worried about, you know, potential black's counterplay against my king is that black's pieces are way too passive to do anything against, uh, against my position, you know? Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a far away dream for him to create any kind of attack. I, I agree. Yeah, okay. So now, Queen e2. He went. I, I went Queen e2. Okay, um, Queen d7. And here, yeah. I, 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 I even saw even that, that it, it's much better to castle because I saw g5. And g5, I saw this as, as the most amazing move for me. Uh, oh, and that, yeah, because it doesn't have any square right now. Exactly. So, no, he has, but it's the, G5 okay, and... G8, okay, or E8. Yeah, yeah he, he, went, he went 98. Yes. He went 98. And here, here I was so happy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, my pieces are so strong. His pieces are so, so bad. And here I went for a Nimtsovich kind of move. Yeah, here I said... why? Well, kind of move? Yeah, every, everything, everything here is so... Like, his pieces are so bad. Let's hit the center. E4. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, you you, you have um, uh, you have the the upper hand. These pieces are very well placed, so you want to open up the center. It makes makes complete sense. Okay, yeah. So e four, and here also I yeah. saw with e four that if he if he's trying to be like ambitious and go knight d um knight d six, I have e five. Which well, I'm not sure. But first of all, which knight goes to d6? That's also a question because um, depends on which knight you put there. I might react differently. If he goes, I, I think both of them. I think probably both of them. Then I'm not sure. E5 is on principle supposed to be wrong, right? You yeah, I, I yeah I thought about uh, that because uh, I have the bishop. He has two knights. Yeah, but exactly. I, I'm, I'm here. I, here I was thinking always about his his piece placements. His peace placements are so bad that it doesn't matter if I have two bishops or even four bishops. That's what I thought. I mean, his, his pieces are, are, are so bad. Yeah, but e5, you also... This move is also a bit um, not very nice to our bishop on f4, right? Kind of block the way for him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, knight f5, you have the tactic. Yeah, I don't think you can play knight f5. What did or you see? No, I, at the beginning I was uh, thinking that we have this, but actually black has a countermeasure, like he can pin us. Yeah, but it, yeah. Actually... I guess. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but here, here I thought... It's still very good for white. Yeah, it's still very good, exactly, that's what I thought. I thought it, it was very good even without this move. I mean, here I can even go... Alright, g6. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There's no squares for the knight. Wait, so the G6? Um, oh yeah, so it only exists now. Yeah, G6. Very good point, Joel. G6 just wins. Yeah. Um, See, I have missed the smooth. Ah, it's okay, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, because uh, I, I was only thinking about E6, you know? Yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, very good. So, I think... Um, now, the, the yeah, thing is... E4 is very good. He played the other knight. And here I was even happier. I was even happier. Yeah. Um, I get it, I get it. Now e5 is e5. E, uh, e5 is even better because of the this knight. You, you took away squares from the knight on the eight. 
N- now yeah, eat. That's a move that the uh, shy would approve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Here we went knight b knight b uh, five knight b five. I went knight b three. This is all natural idea. Yeah, I mean to defend the pawn. There's nothing right. too much into it. And uh, and here he's a knight is almost trapped. Yeah, so he needs to go. Uh, it, it is trapped. So he went a six. A six. And here I thought and I said, okay, what's my plan? What's my breakthrough? I thought c4 is my breakthrough. C4, yeah. So I went but king b. I went king b1. King, king b- very good. That's the move I was waiting for because when you cast along, I think in general we want to say that almost always it's useful to play king b1. Yeah, like that that's Ben Feingold's rule. Always play king b1. Yeah, always play king b1. And then uh, specifically here, it makes even extra sense because your plan is to play c4, open up the c file, maybe put the rook there. Yeah. So you kind of must play king b1 for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this move. That's probably I'm, 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 I'm like ninety percent sure that that's the move I would do without thinking too much. All right, all right, not bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so here we went bishop b, uh, bishop b four. Uh, obviously, yeah. and here I saw a three doesn't work and f three does and, and c three doesn't work. I think that's the sole reason he played this move is hoping for you to play one of these moves. Yeah. Okay. And here I thought like, the- uh, yeah. So here, here I thought like what, what what what's my best move? I thought here first like the first time for really for like five minutes, okay? Uh, until here I played quite fast because all of the moves was so natural in many ways. All of them were yeah, very I, I natural. Know what you mean. It's it, you didn't even have to think much because everything came very naturally and uh, it didn't put it also didn't put any pressure on you. I think what yeah. causes people to think a lot of times it's when they have difficult choices when the opponent is putting you know constant pressure on their position but if you have everything going very smoothly and easy yeah you also save time and energy sure yeah absolutely so here i thought okay so i'm i'm i have two bishops but i don't think it it matters again the the the, my two bishops here are not a significance because his his pieces are so bad so i thought i went i played bishop d2 um, and I'm, I'm exchanging my bad bishop with his b- good bishop first. And again, his pieces, this is like his only piece that is really out is this bishop. I, I thought yeah, it... Interesting. Yeah. Because, um, it's, uh, this position, once again, is so extremely good for white that it's, it's almost difficult to make a move which is not good. You know what I mean? Exactly, so yeah. Is, is, is definitely not a bad move. Uh, even though he, you know, black is so cramped, like he has so little space for his pieces that I don't want to exchange any pieces. You know what I mean? I want to let him suffocate. You know what I mean? Any piece that he can exchange at least gives him the slightest of yeah. relief. Oh, and now I get, I now remember one more thing. I wanted to do bishop here. One of my ideas is I, I thought about my plans. Yeah, c four, c four is a bit worse here with his bishop. Because I would love to play also knight c5. Yeah, knight c5 okay. is a square I would love to go into. Um, so in the second, he doesn't have the dark square bishops. Bishop is 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 is, we, is weakened all these dark squares, and maybe I can do that. So you know, um, even though now that you mention it, what happens if I go c4 anyways? Like that was the planned move. And yeah, I'm thinking maybe with the bishop on d4. You know, maybe, maybe that's even good for us because then if he takes on c4, like I'm assuming he will do, then queen takes c4, we with gain a tempo. small tempo on his bishop. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. True. On the contrary, what, the bishop has to go, right? True. Let's say bishop e7. And actually, okay, let, look at this position. Tell me if we can spot a small tactic. A small tactic, like a, something that can be very easily missed. Um, I, 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 I'll tell you the truth. My, my instinct is going d5. That is my instinct. D5 is, sorry? D5 is an instinct. My my very I'm urging to play it. It doesn't work, I think, but it it's my instinct. Um, yeah, but it's 
probably technically not working yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Indeed. Uh, you say something in tactically interesting. Um. Look at uh, always look at the opponent's last move. So this is the last move. Something uh, something probably has changed in the in the position, right? Right. Um. A f not not a a four, no I don't think that no not a four. A four is okay, but you always have ninety seven, so it doesn't change much, yeah. Oh wait. No, but no, not knight c knight c um knight c five. It doesn't work. Yeah, um, it's not. I mean, I I think I understand your idea. What recapture with a pawn but um yeah might be happy to oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah true for, true for he might be happy to do that just to untangle himself a little bit there's a small move here it's easy to miss it just because um i'm missing it just because uh yeah it's uh it's <laughs> it's just bishop f7 oh it's easy to miss such a move because it's not typically a square oh that you, that's you know, a beautiful you're... move that's actually crushing yeah. his position. Yeah, because not only threatening bishop to c6, his queen is nearly trapped, yeah? Yes. And it's only thanks to his last move that uh, makes it... He's forced to go king b8, and yeah. after bishop king takes, he goes queen c6. C forced, yeah, and now... Wow. Straight off, and I think knight a5 is also very strong. Oh, so king. good. Yeah, and if he takes knight takes d4, then we have easy tactics. Yay. Forking everything. A family fork. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so, but this is just a small detail. and. Uh, nice. So, I don't know, I like c4. I think I, I'm, I'm with the policy of more space, no exchanges, you know? It's yeah. Like, uh, c4 was nice. To cram your, your opponent death and believe me from uh, from my experience when you do this constantly like you take away more and more squares from his pieces and you don't allow him to exchange slowly you just it just trembles in itself you know what i mean it's at some point uh, he must yeah make a, absolutely a move. absolutely okay so wait so yeah, I, I, would be my favorite. I, li I like it i see i see i see, I see. So maybe I played a bit of coward moves eventually. I had a better position. I, uh, yeah, I played a little bit coward to, moves. I tell you the truth. I, I, my experience that why am I playing coward moves? My experience is that I uh, okay. a lot of times I'm playing an uncoward moves, and I'm getting right. punished for those. <laughs> that's that's the problem. Yeah. So that's why I'm playing them a lot of times. But something I need to to as as more as you get experienced in chess. You do less blunders and e even le less positional blunders, and you can calculate p accurately better. So maybe uh, in my maybe I should start playing more. Um, I should get more like confidence in playing, like uh, these kind think, of moves. Uh, yeah, you want to play it safe. I get it, and uh, you, that's uh, it's okay. I mean, once again, as I mentioned, the position is just so incredibly good for white that he can even sort of allow himself not to play perfectly in order to win the game yeah which is a this is a luxury that you have here yeah absolutely so here i went bishop here and he took okay. after queen takes mm -hmm. uh he and now it, you also have the option of going ex uh, exactly to and it's actually quite strong it's very very strong um yeah. so he played b6 Trying to take away some squares. But that that is, is true, but it's weakening. This is a move that is weakening. Yes. Exactly. So, would avoid. so again, here I didn't even think too much. Although it's a classical game, because the moves are so natural and so, so easy. Uh, queen d queen d queen d three with with a tactical threat. A four. A four is winning. A four. I think it's maybe. Yeah, but, he, but it's easy to defend. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he went king. B, of course, he went here, and then I played my 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 key move here. We all. We thought about it for a long time. I went c4. Yep, oh, sorry. C4, okay. Yeah, yeah. c4. Uh, he took. I took with a queen. Yeah. 
and here he made his mistakes. Uh, not, now, now he, until here was cramped, and now he made his mistakes. Here I, he saw, he thought he saw a tactic, but it doesn't work. Um, so he uh, took here. I I, yeah, I, I see what you're talking about. He took here. He, he thought that he's going to win the form before. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I took back. He took with a rook. I took. Is knight is hanging at the end? Yeah. That is. So knight takes. No, I think I think he saw that. You know, I think he was he was just desperate to do anything. You know. Maybe. You know, the whole game. This is a psychological thing. He was suffering the whole game, and when he had even the smallest opportunity to do do the anything even remotely active, he was like jumping on the opportunity. Maybe. Wow. Yeah. And here, here, here. I mean, he resigned. Yeah, and and the knight yeah. here is my, my is is the is this real reason why I won I think this knight. Yes, I think he made a terrible mistake when he played ninety eight. Actually, it's, it's funny, but if we go back to the position where he played ninety eight, yeah, um, maybe it's it's easy to say in retrospect, but um, really he should have understood that the knight on e eight doesn't have any future, any prospects. Yeah, I think it's this position here it is. Oh yeah, fine. Um, okay. And actually, I think he should have played knight g8. And psychologically, it's very difficult to place your piece back in its initial position. Absolutely. But at least from g8, you can go at some point to e7 and develop your piece eventually to some, you know, into the game. And you know, the game is still still going. After knight e8, the knight was basically doomed uh, forever once you went for this e4, e5 idea, which I really like. And um. He kind of doomed his own fate there. Yeah, absolutely. So that was a really fun game. I really enjoyed that game. First game ever, I, I really felt, well. I really felt comfortable with this game, and that, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Also, something that happens to me a lot: I get a good position, I'm up a pawn, I'm up something. My ego plays, and and really seriously, and and the 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 um, the th the idea that I'm winning or whatever it's called, we like to call it. We, we, we like chess likes to say it's a winning position and it, it really doesn't say anything because it's not winning right. I mean, it's, until it's, it's winning you. it's uh, <laughs> of course yeah. of course uh, when you have the, the, the they say the most difficult thing to do is to win in one game yeah yeah absolutely so here i really enjoyed that i didn't i didn't play the really a bad move in all the game and that yeah, i really ha I, I was happy what happened in this game is is that you didn't necessarily play, you know, perfectly or whatever, but you always made moves which are logical enough, good enough, maybe not 100% accurate, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. you played very practical, you kept your energy, you kept your time. That's very good. I think, uh, I think um, the, the next step is to win in such fashion against somebody who is higher rated and potentially doesn't make it let's say that easy, that easy. To yeah do that. absolutely because he never he, he never made anything to make your life even the even slightly uh, kind of difficult right? yeah I, I had the upper end all the game smooth yeah absolutely very good i'm happy for you so uh this Yay. was an, an encouraging game probably absolutely that was really fun that was really really very fun good. great 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 yeah, great all right you want to play some game Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, and a question also get from chat. Do, can you send me uh, yes. uh, uh, send us some puzzles? We love puzzles. We also do it uh, on stream. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I keep uh, I, I, I keep I, I keep forgetting, but I have them. All right. I have them. All right. You know what? Let's do it right now. And you you send me the challenge, and I send you right now. Okay. Okay. So I'll I'll send you. I'll send you an email. I'll send you the you challenge. Send me a challenge. All right. Um. One second. Let's make it happen. Let's see if we can. We can challenge a stuff with something. Whoa, that's not it. Yeah, okay. So. Let's go five minutes. Nah, I'm not, why, why am I playing you three plus two? I'll go five. I don't know, yeah, do, 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 anything, uh, do anything you feel comfortable I'll go with five so. plus five, okay. Um, five plus five? Yeah, five plus five. Uh, so. You are just a Safgivon, I remember. Or how? Or I am a Safgivon. What's um, your, what's your name then? No, just a Saf. Um, what had I said? Kavdachov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I have you. I have you. I have you. Okay, so I've sent you the challenge. Oh no, I'm t I I sent you a horde challenge. Wait, you a know horde it challenge? No, I, I, you, a horde is an incorrect game. You know this? What What do you I mean? I think if Blake just it's just a game that Blake is supposed to win if he plays like uh, if he plays the the best way. Well, I think White should also maybe I'm win if if White if White plays the right way as well. No. That's what I was thinking at the beginning, but like quickly realized in Horde that it's, it's really easy. Not like that easy, but oh. at some point Black sacrifices some pieces to open up the game. Eventually, he reaches the third rank with his his rook or his queen and starts cleaning up your pawns. Yeah. And uh, it, it's it's it, it's a, I'm I'm always feeling uh, it's the, the it's very difficult to play for White because White needs to be super prophylactic, like constantly yeah. moving very slowly with his phone, trying to defend everything not, and avoiding some, you know, sacrifices. Absolutely. You know, yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't master this game, but it's, it's real difficult from White's perspective. Also, I, I, as I was playing, I played a little bit of that. And as I was playing, I understood that in that game, a piece worth two pawns and not three pawns because he has a lot of pawns Bec because, because they're, they're less valuable because you can sacrifice them for two pawns and it makes the, is the uh, opponent's game weaker. So that's, that's something yeah, that happens. So, yeah, and, and I, I don't know. I, I um, I'll also, I, I, there is no, you know, uh, this game is not really being, uh, I guess, uh, explored too much. But yeah. I analyzed some games that I've played more. I wasn't interested in the scientific aspect of Okay. And I was I was analyzing some game that I played with the engine, like with an, I guess the engine understands the rules of four. And uh, first of all, already in the beginning position, he says like like uh, like minus two or minus three for black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's something. So uh, if you put two engines to play this game, black always wins. All right. And, um, and then you know he kept doing the same type of techniques of just sacrificing uh, some pieces and eventually either along the h file or along the a file you get penetrated and um, yeah 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 and, absolutely and that's white, what happened uh, and i felt that for white it's so difficult to play because you always need to find some precise move that is not allowing the opponent to sacrifice and black just you know his strategy is much easier you know it's just yeah i agree you just search for those stacks yeah i agree yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, but it's fun for Blitz. <laughs> yeah, if, it, if it's a Blitz time control, I guess it, uh, it, makes, uh, it makes more sense. Alright, let's lose, there. guys. Let's lose. Let's, uh, what the hell is this uh, rating, Asaf? Step it up. Is, uh, <laughs> I told you, I think. I had a yeah, yeah. Uh, which uh, um, brought me like 100 points down. Yeah, but I'm 2100 and you're 2337. I mean, what, what, what? what? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, okay, Fr French defense, the whole, the whole, the almighty. The almighty. Yeah, let's go old school. <laughs> let's make it happen. Yeah, Bishop is seven. This, this is, uh, this is the, this is the shy move, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I clearly remember him. Oh, so guys, wait, I, I, I gotta say, shy is, uh, is my, uh, my old coach. All right. Uh, I also have a group with him. I'm uh, having lessons with him every Sunday, but uh, so he's my he's my uh, he's my old coach, um, and from him I really began studying and playing chess. So he's like my uh, my first uh, my first coach. Yeah, I think uh, also an interesting fact for the audience is that uh, Shai comes from a famous uh, chess family. Like, um, uh, all, he, they are uh, like I, I think six or seven brothers. Yeah, yeah, they're they're all two thousand plus. Yeah, six or seven brothers, and it's like the this is like the the family thing is that they are all chess players on different levels. The shy probably is the strongest one, and um, they run their own uh, like chess club, which is uh, also named after the family family's name. So it's a it's actually a, it's a pretty nice story. Yeah. Oh, so so Asaf, you know what I have to play here? Uh, G five. Yeah, of course. I gotta go G five. <laughs> no. Uh, I had some games in this position, I'm certain. I don't remember anything from the theory. I know two things about those kind of positions. First of all, that once black plays g5, white always supposed to react either with d takes c5 and then knight d4, 
or uh, the second idea I came across is to try to stop Black from playing G4 by playing G4 myself. Wow, that's uh, interesting. Which is a, a crazy move. G4, H5, H3. Very, but uh, let's, let's go sharp. Let's, let's see what happens. All right. I take C5, okay. Yeah, those positions are just sh so damn sharp. It's very I'm pretty sure that's not a good sign for me, but it's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's very good for you. I disagree. I think if you play a high-rated opponent, you should aim for sharp positions. Really? Which, um, yeah, because play against somebody high-rated, and you go for some, you know, for some positional type of battle. The chances is that uh, he will slowly outplay you, right? Yeah. But That's true. In a complicated position, you know, anything can happen, right? Uh, he might go wrong. He might be. Yeah, he might. He might um, calculate something wrong, or you know, miss some tactical detail. I think the difference between players is 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 um is not in the tactical, not the ability to calculate. It's the, the technique. Yeah. So I think uh, you should be happy about getting such a position. All right. I'll be. Uh, I'll take it. Four ninety three. I'm. Uh, I have no idea what's going on this game. Black position is basically very compromised because of this whole G five thing. But at the same time, his center pawns are so solid that it's difficult for White uh, to do anything like immediate. Yeah. Probably knight B three is not actually a very good move. I think I would. Um, I was supposed to play something like rook B one maybe. Let's try this. I think I can do that as well. Yeah. Do many things. Now that's interesting. Challenge accepted. I can definitely not exchange queens because if I exchange queens, the end game is just perfect for black. You have the better structure. I must play for uh, for some attack, so I must keep the queens on the board. Okay. I think exchanging queens would be just a terrible blunder from my perspective. Another question is, where should I put my knight? And is this a good place to put my knight as well? Yeah, it's a good place. I think it's a good place. Okay. And now we guess my move. <sighs> oh I no. Think I only have ah, one rook, rook D1. Rook D1. Um, no, actually no. Oh, rook no. D1, I don't think it puts enough pressure. I, I, I need to play like aggressive, otherwise my position is like strategically not very good. I must but go you, you think about C6? No, I'm gonna play f4. I must oh. play f4. I must try to exploit the fact that you have the pawn on g5 to open up the position. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's a I nice. I think that's move. the only move. Like it was the only move that made sense, at least uh, to my. I'm going to go here as well. Nice. It's very double-edged. Also, the, also the move is very double-edged. I think uh, anything that starts from the move G5 is very double-edged. <laughs> like, uh, those positions are always very unclear. That's true. How crazy can I be? That's the, maybe the question. So that's probably what you want. If I take, you take the bishop. Or should I just castle? Yeah, I'll just castle. Very bold. I will take. They give up the point. Oh, that's a threat. That's a trap. Okay. Okay. H6. Well, who is defending H6? Is that Nobody. a Banco Gambit type of idea? Maybe. We will see. Who knows, right? You played H6 so quickly. I mean, uh. It's or genius right, or very, very stupid, right? <laughs> uh, maybe. Can be, yeah. can be other. <laughs> can be other. Yeah, can be either, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you, you 
you're betting big here, like, uh... I'm going for the attack. Like, yeah, obviously. But, uh, you know... Yeah, I see what, you, what, what you're saying. I see what you you're take, saying. You take risks, because you give up a lot of pawns, and uh, if, it, if, it, uh, if it's not working, it might backfire. That's all I'm saying. Yo! Daniel, thank you for the raid! Mate, welcome guys! I'm, I'm here playing against Asaf, my coach here. Yo! Thank you for the raid, Daniel. Guys, shout out to Daniel. He's uh, an amazing streamer. Check him out. Alright. Alright, we're going to exchange. And now the question is... Can you guess my move right now? Oh no. I think I have a key move. Mm. A key move that kind of consolidates White's position now. Once again, at least I hope so. Knight D something. Knight D four, five, six, nine. Yeah, those are okay, but I think it's very critical to play this move. First ah. of all, defending the pawn on H six, and you know that's a that's an interesting pawn, right? If it if it manages to survive, it can be very useful in the end game. True. And also preparing the development of my other move to F one. That is true. I'm not sure if you have enough, you know, fuel in your attack. You know what I mean? There yeah, 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 fuel. absolutely, absolutely. Your, your position, maybe it's not ready for an attack. There are too few pieces on the board. Also, the knight on c4 is not so well designed for a kingside attack. Question is, is this a horrible move or is it just a bad move, what I'm thinking? What are you thinking about? I'm not, I, okay, we're just saying, okay. Yo, Daniel, thank you. Thank you for the for the raid, mate. Appreciate that. All right. So I'm debating whether to play Rook F1, which was the, the planned move. And then I'm allowing you to take on H6, but I might take on F7 in return. Yeah. It seems, it seems pretty strong. I don't know. It's difficult to... It's, it's a move that's difficult not to play, you know what I mean? Mm hmm I guess it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I forgot that you're also threatened with takes H2. Yeah, that was... Uh, I made a mistake. I just lost a pawn for nothing. Okay. I didn't lose a pawn. You still have a pawn. No, but I wanted to keep the pawn on h6, or, or at least if I'm giving it up, I wanted to gain some pawn on a descent. I should have, I should have exchanged rooks immediately. Okay, yeah, doesn't matter. Let's continue. Yeah, this was a, uh, this was a bit of a lame move. I, I just want to say one thing. I'm very happy I'm not lost here yet. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's that's. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, <laughs> uh, when you play Moration like G5, that's one of the benefits is that you get quite complicated positions, but even if things go wrong, the position is still pretty complicated and anything can happen, you know? That's yeah. That's a big benefit. So, L5, I think, is bad. For me, I'm just I'm answering to the chat. I get... I, I mean, I'm... I'm this is, won't be a weakness, but I'll create a new weakness. And I don't think it's really good. Maybe later. Maybe later. Not even sure what to do. My knight on b3 is so badly played that I... I, I Why you say that? He's amazing. Yeah. He's really helping me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's okay, so I think I must do that. It's, it's time for this knight to, to do something. No more, uh, no more sitting at home, right? Yeah. Okay, I must go h3. No, no checkmates today. Hopefully. I couldn't play g3 because of queen takes. So you are you 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 are allowing me just to take the pawn. I mean, I had to. But then I might take on f7. Maybe it's a more valuable pawn. For yeah. Us. Yeah. That is true. Sometimes pawns are not equivalent to each other, yeah? Some pawns... Well, it's time to push my past pawn, others. I think. Yeah, but I think I've calculated something. Let's see if I'm by the wrong. Oh, bloody hell. 
Don't calculate things now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so the idea is to combine some Queen G8 stuff. Let's see, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're forcing... Well, that's interesting, though. Okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I must exchange, I must, yeah, I must do this anyway. And now I must exchange, right? Yeah. And now you take. No, you don't take. At least it's a, at least it's an ah. endgame. And uh, one of the good things about playing an endgame is that you cannot get checkmated. Yeah, th 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 this is now where you're gonna shine. And I'm gonna go, yeah. No, no. Yeah, and I'm gonna go rook g6 blundering the rook. That's that's the spirit. Actually, there are many ways to blunder the rook in this position. Rook g6, rook f6. Um... I think I have to go rook h7. And that doesn't that doesn't help me anyways. <laughs> maybe know, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Yeah, I think I, I know to. one thing that the most important principle in end games is. Um, don't go passive, always try for activity. Maybe rook h7 is not going well with this principle. Okay. You, you basically doom your rook to passivity and... Um, Do I? And... Uh, I'm, uh, well... At least that's my point of view. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah here I'm... Two, and I... now I think I have this, right? Yes, 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 yes. Indeed. Indeed. Yay, go. Let's see what happens. Ugh. Okay. Am I blundering? Probably. Yeah, okay, now from a theory point of view, you're only one pawn down, but I think your real problem is the, the fact that, like, I mean, compare your rook on h7 to my rook on e7. This is yeah, no doubt. Big, uh, no doubt. The big uh, problem that you have here. Next move is ninety six. I I'm not sure you can survive such a thing. Oh, ninety six. Yeah, I missed that one. I'm going to take so many pawns. That's yeah, true. One pawn is down. I think I have. I think I'm seeing some winning sequence. Winning sequence. Yeah, I'm just uh, your rook on h seven is. Oh yeah, I see. You're right. Mmm, nice. Nice. Yeah. I got a take. Yeah, but this is... Uh, uh, yeah, this, uh, that's, 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 you that's... Wanna, uh, you, you wanna play on? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's... Uh, I can play on if you want, but uh, this is uh, a, bit, a bit too much, yeah? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Alright. Alright, alright. Tell me if... Uh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. You wanna go another one? You wanna if you if you're if you're if you're in for it. It's, been, uh, <laughs> it's a bit late here. Maybe maybe okay. next time. Okay. 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 I'm all sorry. Right. It's just. Uh, hey man, the, the it's, ne uh, next lesson. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it's it's eleven thirty for us guys. Eleven uh, fifteen for us. So yeah. Hey, eleven something. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, I guess it's understandable. Yeah. So what 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 are you what are you suggesting maybe in here? Uh, not here. Uh, sorry, sorry, not here. Wait, 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 wait. Let I, don't, I don't see your position, but um, I think. Um, oh yeah, right. I mean, uh, let's say let's go to move. I, I kind of want to say that after f4. F4. If, I don't know if this is what you're looking. No, at. I, I'm, I want to see him a bit later after, after I'm taking on h age. Um, I think this whole sacrificing force on the king side was a bit too optimistic. I, after f4. H6. You mean h6 was. Uh, yeah, so I think. Uh, yeah. Some move, uh, even I was even thinking a move like g4 just to give up the pawn and the g file, but without allowing white to open up files for himself. Nice. And if queen takes g4, then castle long, and you have the same ideas like in the game to play for the g file and everything, but without allowing me to become so active, also. That's a good one. I like it. All right. Yeah. All um, right, very nice. Okay, guys, I want to really yeah. thank Asaf. was a really nice lesson. Interesting analyzing games. Also a nice game. Pleasure as always. So thank you so much. And we'll thank see you, you again. Thank you too we'll, for see, me. we'll see you again very soon. I want to give your YouTube channel. Uh, can you send me the link? Even on WhatsApp or on Zoom. And uh, guys, he has a YouTube channel. He's uploading there like about every week. Really nice. 
talking a lot about showing his games showing some ideas openings stuff everything also our our, uh, our lesson will be there if you want to revisit if you want to see an idea um so yeah i see i see so i'll just send it here in the chat so yeah. guys uh check him out so thank you very much mate really to thank you yeah all right and see you again bye bye